Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the featherweight championship of the world. Ahmad Chick Musa and Pat Padabroom Kiap Muka. The reigning featherweight champion of the world, Pat Padabroom Kiap Muka. The left kick specialist barely gets hit. A master of distance control. A massive knockout. Ahmad Chick Musa. Well, he's an action style fighter. He loves to pressure. Good combinations. Well, he throws everything with power. From a featherweight to have that kind of punching power, very impressive. Oh, and that will put him down. And that will put him out. What a knockout. Five round championship bounce. Tonight's main event features two featherweights who stand tall among kickboxing's fierce warriors. A challenger who at the age of 23 is battle tested in over 60 career bouts, facing an even more prolific champion with an almost unimaginable resume of 200 career fights. It's Petch versus the Golden Boy for the featherweight championship of the world. This bout sanctioned by Vaughn, and at the bell, your referee is Yusuf Aknik. For the fans with us live here in Essen, Germany, to kickboxing fans watching around the world, it's time for glory! Let's meet the challenger. He put the division on notice with a first round knockout in his debut at Glory 81. As a professional, 58 wins, eight losses, one draw, and 28 career knockouts. He is undefeated in three prior Glory appearances. At five feet, nine inches tall, 1.77 meters, he weighed in at 142.6 pounds, 64.7 kilos. He's here tonight, fighting out of Oberhausen, Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, Ahmad, the golden boy, Chick Musa. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. Only the second tie champion in glory history. Here tonight in Essen making his sixth defense of the belt. His professional record, 168 wins, 39 losses, three bouts scored even, and 27 career knockouts. He stands five feet seven inches tall, 1.71 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Buriram province of Thailand and is the reigning and defending featherweight champion of the world. He is the professor, Pet Padabru Katmuka. Free in charge of this championship bout is Yusuf Akni. Okay, fighters, you both know the rules. Obey my commands at all time and protect yourself at all time, okay? Okay? Touch gloves. Take a step back. Will it be another dominating performance for Petch? Or can Amat Chick Musa upset the apple cart and defeat Petch in his six world title defense? Five rounds. Featherweight Championship of the World is on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to have you return to your seats before we begin the fight. Back to your seats, and we will begin this championship bout. Please. crowd is into it as the fighters are. Yeah, they're all trying to surround the ring. 
they wish they had our seats. So everyone will file back to their seats. They were excited about this, man. <laughs> They're like, buzzkill. <laughs> All right, fine. All right. I think this first round is going to tell a lot to see what Chick Moose is all about. Yusuf Haknik, our referee, patiently standing by. Time. Fight! All right. Five rounds. Patch in the white gloves. Ahmad Chick Musa in the black. Right away, Chick Musa is coming back with his counters. Break! Break! Step back, step back. Step back. You could see Chick Musa did not want to be broken up. He wants to get on the inside and pound away. Yeah, he's got, he feels he has the boxing advantage on the inside. Ooh, good left hand from Petch. Uppercut from Petch. His boxing has certainly improved, but it all comes back to the left kick. Yeah, most so of Petch's big knockouts come out when he changes that left kick. Already you've seen him hit the back leg, kick the body, and then eventually he goes upstairs with it. Check kick there from Chick Musa. You can see the redness already on his body. Break! Step back, step back, step back. Why is Petch so hard to figure out? Well, it's his master of distance control. I'm going to keep repeating that because it's he barely gets hit with any big shots because he's either all in or all out. And on the outside, when you think you want to throw, you kind of stay shelled up because he keeps kicking you. You want to keep your elbow to protect your body so you can't really box too much with him. And then when you go to box, he clinches you up and knees you. That kick sends Chigmusa down quickly back up. These first three rounds for Chick Moose are important. If he can win these early Bet. rounds. So back, to back, to back. We know how efficient Petch is. Petch can keep this pace for five rounds, no problem. I'm sure 99% of the fights Chick Moose is in, he has more experience considering he has 67 pro fights, but Petch is over 200. Petch has this sneaky little uppercut he's landed a few times. Break. Another body kick from Petch. He'll throw him all night long if you let Break. him. Break, come on, active clinch. No holding. Low kick again for Petch. Those will add up. Ooh. Break. All different break, angles, break, 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 all break. different positions, those left kicks from Petch. Inside, back leg, body, then to the head. Chick Musa had his first professional fight in 2015, an eight-year pro. But this is the one. Nice hands there Break. from Chick Musa. This is not where Chick Musa wants to be. No. And Chick Musa trained with Marat Gregorian for this fight, too, who had many good fights with Sidichai, the other Thai champion. Break. Yeah, so it's almost. They feel like they had a game plan for Chick Musa. The crowd behind so, Chick Musa, you can see him rallying there. Here's our fighter profiles, and what else can you say about Petch that hasn't been said already? One of the great fighters in fight sports history. And you know, he just opened that gym, we mentioned it earlier. Muay Thai Academy. We said it should be called Muay Thai Vancouver, so people will be more specific. There's a lot of Muay Thai Academies. I know, but the big question is, is Petch now a Canadian champion, right? Do I put him in the list of Canadians? He should start, hey, hey is he, is he, is he going to adopt him? We're taking him in, so that's it. Get, a, get a one of those Canadian flags on his trunks. There we go. There's Chick Musa, the golden boy. Signature strikes the low kick. It's going to be harder against the southpaw here in Petch. I think it's going to be his boxing and his pressure. So we're going to see what he can do with Nick Hemmer's kind of giving him these instructions. You see Chick Musa ready for those low kicks with the block up, but Petch has had some nice little boxing exchanges, little sneaky left hands and uppercuts. Definitely seeing the boxing improvement in Petch. See how the judges saw that first round. A late flurry there for Chick Musa to end the round, but all five scoring it for Thailand's Petch Panamaran. Break, 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 step back.
Shaq Musa really sitting on these low kicks, but he's missing them. Break, step back, step back. Whoa, good head kick from Petch. Yeah, he's starting to go upstairs now. He's invested in the legs, the body. Now it's time to sneak it upstairs. Nice inside combination from Chick Musa. Yeah, Chick Musa wants to turn this into a fight, a boxing match if he can. He's had some exchanges land. Just don't seem to be doing enough damage to Petch, though. Oh, Petch tried to switch stances and ate it. It's funny though, a little jab from Chick Musa, the crowd goes nuts. Big. That's what hometown advantage does. Every time the judges hear those noises. Well, they weren't swayed in round one. Yep. Another low kick gets a smile from Petch. Oh, look at him angle out with that left hand now in orthodox with the right over him. Leg kicks, 18 for 18. Yeah, Chick Moose is trying to a, a, a rear uppercut Step left hook combination. That's very good shot for someone trying to clinch you. Uppercuts and hooks, small overhands. Break. Step back. Step back. That's just left hand is very heavy today. That left knee. Break. Another break, big break. dangerous weapon of Petch. He just smashes you with it as you come in. Chess fun in there, you can tell he's just having a good time, even when he gets hit in the face. Break, 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 break. Break, break, break. Ooh, nice uppercut, jab and angles from Petch. Mixing his Muay Thai and kickboxing very break. well. Definitely see Petch is no longer just a, a Muay Thai fighter. Adapted the two styles very well. But you can't just sit there at mid-range or he will throw that break, left kick break, break. all night. I'm more impressed with his boxing tonight. We know how good his left kick is, but those left hands, break. his little angles, oh, his corner turning off of the ropes, some impressive things. You see the redness all on that right side of Chick Musa, leg, body. Well, Chick Musa's trying to will himself to a victory here. The crowd eating it up, but I don't think the judges are buying it. Collision 5 coming your way June 17th. Rotterdam Ahoy Arena tickets on sale now. Plazavat versus Cookie Asaro for the interim heavyweight title. Also, Donovan Visa defending his middleweight belt against Sirkan Askaglian. Donaghy Abena and Andy Simler defending their belts in the light heavyweight and welterweight divisions. It is a true collision. Unreal. Unreal. Especially that middleweight fight, too, with Sir Ken and Visa. Ooh, gives me chills. But you can see Patch mixing up his kicks, changing the levels, going inside leg, back leg, hitting the body. We've seen him throw some quick head kicks. But like we keep saying, it's his boxing. He's landing this good left hand, sneaky little left uppercuts, angling with his jab. Chikmusa had a few moments, but it seems like Patch is starting to build up. There is Cookie. I'm sure texting all his friends about this fight. Yeah. Getting everybody excited for collision. Sitting next to Cookie, the one man other than Bastati to beat Petch. Ruben Van Roosmalen in attendance. Three judges for Petch. One gave it a 9-9 round. A bit strange. It's a 10-point must. That low kick sent Petch down. You don't see that too often. Got the crowd excited. Petch is going to start Break. chopping away. Tried to Break. give a little sneaky sweep there. Give it back. Oh, oh straight break. left for Petch. You saw the sweat fly off of Chick Moose's head. Yeah, Chick Moose needs to start moving his head a little bit more now. He can't just walk in with that high guard. He's got to move his head, kind of slip, maybe pull counter that hand and come back. But he just can't sit there with high guard. Petch's left hand looks heavy and dangerous. Yeah, he steps in with it too. Break, step back, Lands step it back, and then back. clinches. Oh, big body kick. How does that not break a rib every time it lands? But I do like Chick Moose's counter inside kick. Break, That's the right back. strategy when Petch throws that body kick counter with an inside low kick. We saw Chick Moose in his glory debut lose the first two rounds and then come on strong. That's 
Oh, here you go. Hey. Crowd eating it up. Breaks and back. Chikmusa's yeah. having some moments, but Petch doesn't seem phased. But I, I like this style, though, for Breaks Petch. He's back, evolving. I think that Bistati fight let him know, hey, I've got to do something different. Break, break, break. It's probably refreshing to see someone small. Oh, oh, head kick. He no. walks right into it. No. What a shot from what? Patch. I told Two. you it was coming. Three. I warned Four. everybody watching it was Five. coming. You okay? Six. Seven, step to me. Eight, arms, arms. All Four. right. It's go time now for Chick Musa. Patch's left hand, man. Oh, Patch. He's lighting him up. The referee taking a good look. This might be Petch's first boxing finish. Chick Musa fighting off the ropes. Break, 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 break. The crowd trying to will him on. Can Petch, oh, oh. big uppercut. Break, break. Is that head kick there again, Joe? Yeah, he's going to sneak it. He's going to hide it. He's going to chop the leg probably one more time, or he's going to throw it on an exit. It's coming. It's coming. There's the uppercut. The left leg ready to throw. Step in left hand break, from Petch. Break, break. Hey, this is the most exciting Petch fight we've seen maybe in glory. He's usually so dominant. He's got the perfect dance partner in Chick Musa. Look at him go. Stop. We see Patch go to the body. Chick Musa come back with those counter kicks. Was doing a good job at there, but that was Patch. Set it up with low kicks and body kicks all fight. Then he surprised it by coming up on that angle. But Petch, that stepping in left hand, even those little sneaky uppercuts on the inside, from the rear side, the lead side, I thought we were potentially seeing a first boxing knockout from Petch. I love how he went for the finish there. Didn't quite get it. Chick Moose is showing us his durability and his toughness. Yep. Two rounds to go. I, don't think, I think Chick Moose has had fight of the night every time he fights. He's that type of fighter. And 23 years old, he's going to be in many more. Opportunity of a lifetime, though. You never know when you're going to get another title shot, if yeah. ever. Even, even speaking to Hemmers, he's like, he's 23. He's going to learn so much from this, regardless. Good job of Petch to back out of the pocket and miss the low kick. Break! Step back, step back. Break, break! Watch for the head. Now the clock is not becoming Chick Moose's friend. Nice little inside combo from Chick Moose. Oh, and a big knee on the inside Break, from back, Patch. Back. I think that one hurt him. Yeah. He's starting to keep his elbow down closer Break. to the body. Break. He's just going to open up the head kicks now. What a performance from Patch. Break. We've Break. seen him be dominant, but not with the hands. Back to those inside knees, they always keep adding up. They might not score very well, but they're adding up. Hey, he's a new fighter now that he's 28. You know, his birthday yesterday turned, changed everything. And one of the things still from Petra I would like to see is putting the punches and kicks together. We see him only box or only kick. If he can kind of put punches to kicks, you know, mix those high kicks off of his boxing, I think that'll take him even to another level. Break! Stop with Six world title defense for Petch Penrong. Uppercut scores for Chick Musa. Oh, action! Ooh, no Direct action. action. Almost hit the referee. I don't think I've ever seen Petch throw that. He's relaxed. 
Hey, say what you will about a Machik Musa, man, but he's not going anywhere. No. Nope. He back, step back, step just step keeps back. walking forward, pressuring. No matter what you throw at him, he's going to counter back. Oh! Big right hand! And Peck shakes it off! Look at that focus on Chick Musa. Laser Big. focused step in. Back, step back, step back. Dialed in. Petch may be getting too comfortable. Low kick for Chick Musa. Break, break, step back, step back. There he goes, fighting out of the clinch with his hands. So. One round to go. to this crowd in Essen. They have been very loud all night long. Yeah, this is why we have some good fights here. Everybody's excited, the energy. Look at Chick Musa. They're cheering him on. They're keeping him in this fight. For a guy who's basically down four, four rounds to zero, he's got plenty of energy. And he was planning, the only way I'm gonna win this fight is by knockout anyway. So the mission is still the same. Yep, knockout. His words exactly, I will hunt for the legs, attack the body, I will pressure him, it will not go five rounds. So mentality was all knockout for him. Three minutes to go, this for the featherweight championship of the world. Petch Panarum has been unbeatable at this weight class. Hardly been touched, in fact. Oh, oh big left for Chick Musa. Man, he's still... Definitely one of my favorite fighters to watch, man. Look at him go. Win or lose, Chick Musa's in. Oh, and a kick from Chick Musa. No walk. Fight! Oh, beautiful jab uppercut. Well, I tell you what, Petch has handled those punches well. He's basically taunted him every time he gets caught. There's potential, man. I mean, Petch's hands are down, moving his head. Chick Musa catches him with three or four punches in combination. Break, step back, step back. He step needs back. to throw his hands in twos and threes. Oh, there it is. Chick Musa scored. Petch has been clipped, but he's not showing any signs of going down. Break, break, break. Oh. Petch just got under that hand. Now he's whipping that kick again. Yeah, Petch back to his yeah, bread and butter. Let's back, go back to back. those left kicks. Let's not box no, no, with this kid. Step back. Chick Musa wants to ruin Petch's birthday weekend. Oh, put three or four there. Petch is in trouble. How does Chick Musa look so fresh? There it is. Keep going. Break! Step back, step back. And just digging deep is Chick Musa. Yeah, ripping his head out of that clinch, continuing to move forward. Petch has never been knocked out at featherweight. Never even been knocked down. Finally, Petch nods like, hey, you got me that time. Overhand left for Chick Musa. Petch oh. needs to get his hands up. Chick Musa almost needs to follow up after that first combo because Petch relaxes. Go again. Break, Double break, up your combinations. Break. Break. Yeah, break. Petch stop, holding break, on. Stop. You don't see that much. Fight. Half a minute to go. That right uppercut from Chick Musa is close.
Kimmer's a little upset. The trainer for uh, Chick Moose, he says, hey, there was a few seconds left. Why'd you bring the bell? Either way, what an entertaining fight. Most likely in a losing effort for Chick Musa, but Petch had to work as hard as he's ever worked. Oh yeah, fight. especially those last few rounds. Petch had to work. Chick Musa really put on an entertaining fight. I mean, I don't care win or lose, Chick Musa should get, you know, the approval from the crowd, the audience. He did fantastic. I'm pretty sure he won that last round as well. He's a crowd pleaser. He knows how to entertain. Win or lose, he, we got something here in Ahmad Chick Musa. The knockdown, obviously the key. That came in round three for Petch, a head kick and a beauty. Yeah, I mean, he did what he had to do. I mean, we did see a little bit more boxing from Petch, but again, maybe that what's cost him near the end of the fight, but Petch did his thing. Stayed there, found some good left hands, very good southpaw, as we know. Chick Musa, though, constantly in his face, never really backing up, constantly looking to counter, kick for kick, came back with good punches and combinations, really went after Petch's legs. But Petch continued to kind of peck away in the earlier rounds of the fight, used his range, and he had landed a lot of good left kicks to the inside, the body, mixed some good knees in the clinch as well. But the big story is, I think, just Chick Musa coming forward, being aggressive. Petch was winning these earlier stages, and like we said, got the win, but still, Chick Musa made it a fantastic fight. Can't say enough about it. And then in round four, we thought Chick Musa might be ready to go after he was sent down in the third, but he showed his toughness and took the fight to Petch Pamerong. Landed a lot of punches in these exchanges that Petch was laughing off, but in the fifth round, they were really wiping the smile off his yeah, face. Was, you know, Petch's head was getting snapped back. Chick Musa kept coming forward. I think he's going to look back and be very proud of himself in this last round. I mean, if he can continue to bring this pressure, this type of confidence, I mean, he's going to be trouble for anybody in the future. They hug it out at the end. Two warriors that I'm pretty sure we're going to see face again somewhere down the line. Let's look at our strike count statistics. And I don't think we've ever seen this many punches from Petch. He landed 38% of his 137 punches. The kicks, as usual, on point, 84%. Knees, 93%. Total strikes landed 169 to 140 for Chick Musa. Strikes by round all the way until the fifth. It belonged to Petch. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. Two of our judges score the bout 48-46. The three remaining judges all have it, 49-45. It's a unanimous decision, all for your winner. And still, featherweight champion of the world, Kepanamroo Kiapmukau. Here to present the belt, former Glory 2 Division champion, Robin Van Roosmalen, and our head of talent operations, Robbie Timmers. All right, I'm here with your winner and still featherweight champion of the world, Petch Panamurum Kiapmukau. First off, I want to say happy birthday. How does it feel to get a six title defense on your birthday weekend? And, uh, hello, everyone. And all my fans around the world. Thank you for supporting me. I'm happy to be he said he's very happy to uh, defend the belt for the sixth time in a row. His training camp in Canada, Muay Thai Academy, was absolutely amazing. He made some changes, added some hands, like more boxing, and uh, yeah, you see the result tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, the way his boxing improved looked fantastic, and he really brought that fight. Was that the game plan to showcase a little more? 
Yeah, that was definitely the game plan. We wanted to showcase more hands because everyone's like, oh, he's left kick, he's left kick. But we really wanted to showcase the hands and that's what we did tonight. Yeah. I want you to ask Petch for me, what did he think of Amachik Musa tonight as an opponent? He stayed in his face and brought a great fight. He said uh, a ton of respect for Chick Musa, absolutely great fighter, very strong, and in the future, let's have a rematch. I think we'd all like to see that, but after six title defenses, what's left for Petch to do here in the sport? What excites him? Uh, everyone the promoters put in front of Petch, like he, he's beat them all, so whoever they want to put in front of him next is up to them. All right, dude, we're wondering, is he now representing Canada and Thailand a little bit? Uh, Petch is Canadian now. <laughs> <laughs> well, his English is improved and we improved his boxing, so let's hear it for your winner, Petch Panamarong. <laughs> Petch Panamarong out of Vancouver, Canada and the Muay Thai Academy. That was not his most dominant performance, but certainly his most exciting performance. And Joe, it wasn't his fault that he's kind of looped into the boring spider style just because he was so dominant tonight. There was not a single moment of it being boring. And a lot of that had to do with the pressure that Ahmad Chick Musa was putting on. Yeah, it was definitely Chick Musa who brought a great fight for him. So, I mean, styles make fight, and I think Chick Musa was the perfect opponent for him to get this exciting type of patch fight that we wanted.